PEX, or PERT tubing, is a flexible, easy-to-seal plastic tubing used in residential plumbing applications to deliver hot and cold water to faucets, showers, toilets, water heaters, and supply lines. Insert fittings are made of plastic or brass and are used to connect plumbing fixtures to PEX tubing and for accommodating tubing bends. Copper crimp rings are pressed onto PEX tubing to secure the fitting and make a leak-free connection using quality installation tools. In order for the copper crimp ring to force the PEX tubing material into the gaps between the fitting barbs, the copper crimp ring must be positioned over the barbs. We recommend a gap of 1 8 to 1 quarter inch between the tubing end and the edge of the copper crimp ring, which ensures the barbs are covered. Making a strong PEX connection is simple, but a specific procedure must be followed, starting with proper protective eyewear. Be sure the PEX tubing is cut straight and flat. Slide the copper ring over the tubing. Push the fitting into the tubing. Be sure the tubing end butts up against the fitting shoulder. The size all crimper features easy to change jaw dies to accommodate common PEX connection sizes. Simply press the spring-loaded pins to remove the current dies and replace with the required die set. Be sure the dies are both the same size. In this case, we're stepping down from 3 quarters to 1 half inch connections, which are most common in residential plumbing applications. Place the crimper jaws over the copper crimp ring and squeeze the handles together. Continue squeezing until the handles are completely closed. Inspect the completed assembly. Double check the 1 8 to 1 quarter inch gap. Check the copper crimp ring with the included go, no go gauge. Select the tubing size on the gauge. Slip the go opening over the crimped copper ring. When the gauge slips over the ring, it indicates the ring is fully crimped to proper specification. Select the no-go opening and attempt to slip it over the crimped copper ring. If it does not slip over the ring, the gauge indicates the ring is not fully crimped. If the copper crimp ring does not pass these tests, it must be removed and replaced. Never re-crimp a ring that has been crimped. Consult your product manual or visit our website for proper tool maintenance.